What's cracking YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, Hoxton Trent. <laughs> Gang, I've actually jumped onto the old Instagram live live now. I just got the feature, so I'm super chuffed about that. So I'm gonna go into it. I'm gonna see if any people jump on and I'm gonna ask them quickly if they think they know how to spot the difference between a fake and real man. So that's it. Okay, bam, here we go, man. Let's start the live. Start the live feed, y'all. Let's see. Checking connection. Right, let's see, man. Let's see who's gonna jump on board. I know a lot of people are gonna be at work, so that's it, man. Okay, so for all of the people that have jumped on right now, I'm actually doing a live video right now, so you will see yourselves on YouTube on my next video. So everyone that's on there, it's Harry Summer, Scott MC, Jack Charles, Tarek, McEwen, Luca Phillips, but I need you guys to help me out. I'm about to do a fake versus real and we're going to look at these jackets real quick. So look, I've got these Canada Goose jackets right here. Bam, look at this one. Bam, what one's fake, what one's real guys? Is it the grey one? Okay, left Joe Fuggett, he says left is fake. So you think the black one's fake bro, yeah? You think the black one is actually fake. Okay, let's have a look. So that's the fur, left is fake. Everyone's saying left is fake. And I've got the this one here. This one as well, have a look. Let me know. Some people are saying left is fake. Let's look at the back on this one. Some people are saying that the right one is fake. Okay, good man, that's good to know. So thanks for your help, man. Stay blessed. Catch you in a bit. <laughs> Live feed, amazing. I've got the fake Canada Goose on the right and I've got the real Canada Goose on the left. When I jumped over to Berlin, I actually picked up this Canada Goose right here. It is the Canada Goose chili whack bomber jacket and this is the genuine jacket right here so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be using this as a simple comparison to look at the jackets okay now i actually saw this on ebay um and i saw it i knew it was a fake i picked it up and i got it in first thing we're going to try and do is look at these zips as well like what we always do so we look at the zips there you can see they are not ykk vislon zips and if we look at the genuine jacket from the um, Canada Goose Chili Whack, we can see it is YKK Vizlon. So this has, we'll just have a look, a quick look at that. So they've even got the shape a little bit right. Well, actually, the top part of the on the fake zip is um, from a different Vizlon zip, so they've actually got the shapes a little bit different. But you can see it doesn't have YKK on either of the zip. Always check the zips, okay? Second thing we look at is we look at the goose patch. We can see here we look at the goose patch. They do look very, very similar. But if we look on this one, and I've pointed this out before, if you look really, really closely and you look at the lines, you can just about see it. But the, the way the white bit, the lines are kind of like, uh, they're straight. And you can see just ever so slightly, the lines are straight. But if you look at the fake, they come like dots. I know it's ever such a small detail, but it just goes to show that the machinery that they're using is a little bit different can't really get the camera in to see but it's actually tiny little dots so the lines are not straight sorry if you can't really see that too tough next thing that we can look at here is we can look at the labels inside the jacket if we look at the um, fake one we can see how the labels are now in the older Canada Goose jackets, sometimes you see them in a bit of a row like that or they, they come like this as well. The newer Canada Goose jackets, they should all come like this and you've got a little pouch to kind of house all of your badges and you've got a little hologram that you can see right there, certify that the jacket is genuine. You can see it all right there and you've even got a little picture of a, or a bear head there that you can see. Now, if you look at this badge here, they've, looked, they've used a very convincing looking, um, um, label there, but there is no hologram now as I said the older ones didn't use a hologram You can see they've tried to use some type of um, silver strip in the badge here If you look at this label here if I look at the if you look at that the the quality the so-called quality assurance Label on the on the fate you can see This material here is really kind of soft It's not really well done if you look at this one here It's a bit more harder a little bit more a little bit more sith and the color is a little bit darker as well. I mean, that's going to be really hard to spot. You can see it says here downmark.ca. Here it just says downmark and CA is at the problem. Now, the issue is the older jackets are a little bit different. Um, and the newer jacket, the labels are a little bit different. Looking at the labels itself is going to be di very difficult, especially if you're on eBay looking at an older jacket. You, you, the labels are not going to be the same as the newer jackets. Um, what, what I would say is... You know, <sighs> 
you try and look for the newer jackets because the newer jackets if you're looking on ebay or, or debop try and get the newer stuff i mean there are some deals to be had on the older canada goose i haven't really checked out too many old much of the older canada goose so it's, it's going to be more difficult to spot but the new stuff it will have the gram like that and it will have the uh, little pouch in there as well so that's another way moving on to the label inside the jacket here we, they look really they look pretty uh they're pretty close man they've got it really really close i mean if you look at the m now this m here you can see it's kind of really thin and even where the m is it's almost like there's three little lines in the m you can really you can't really see it but where the m is there's three there's three or four little lines that just go through right in the middle of the m so it almost looks like it's broken up a bit um, whereas you look at this M here and the fake, it's really thick and there's no lines going through the middle of it. I mean, this is really minor detail, man. This is really small, but these are some of the things that are just different from the jacket. They've they've happened to get the label correct as well, so that looks that looks kind of right. So that's a little bit annoying. If you notice a really kind of thick size labeling there, we know that there's an issue. Whereas the Canada Goose one, it's a, it's a little bit it's a little bit more slim. Generally, the the quality of this jacket is not really good. Now, Canada Goose use a really nice coating on their jacket, really nice materials. The jackets tend to feel a little bit more hard, a little bit more stiff. You really can feel the durability and the technology inside this jacket. If we look at this fake Silkirk, it's really soft. I doubt very much that this material is waterproof or even wind resistant. It, it doesn't have the technology in this jacket, guys. Counterfeiters are not going to go all that way to make the technology. So that's one of the other things that I noticed as well. Really, really thin looking jacket. It, there might be some down in there i don't know what's in this jacket could be polyester could be newspaper wrappings for, I don't, for all i know i don't know what's inside this jacket another thing as well if we look at the uh the mouth guard here never seen the mouth guard this furry this little bit here is meant to be when you close it up up on your mouth this kind of just kind of protects the mouth and just keeps it warm um that's the fake one there but it should actually be this type of material here guys i've, I've never seen it furry like that so if you see that that's that's something that that, that doesn't look right to me doesn't look consistent with with stuff that Canada Goose do. So that's something that I would also try and look out for as well. And so I would be very weary of seeing that on my jacket personally. You can see the pull cords there. Most of the Canada Goose jackets I know, they come with these type of pull cords just like that, these plastic ones. They're using these kind of bell, bell tipped um, cords like you can see. That's something that I haven't again noticed. You guys can let me know if you've seen that on the jackets. I haven't personally noticed. Most of the jackets I've seen, they've always come with this kind of pull bit here so that you can adjust the hood on the side there. I've never, I've never seen it like that. Okay. Now the pockets on the inside of the jacket, they should be lined with something. Canada Goose always line their, their pockets on the inside. Well, most of the big boy jackets anyway, maybe not like the high bridge or the nylon jackets, but if we look inside this jacket as well, you can see they've lined it with a nice kind of thought material. So that's, if you put your hand in there, it's just gonna, it's just gonna keep your hand a bit warm. Or if your hands are wet when you're outside, you put it in there, it's gonna keep it, it's gonna make it dry. But if you look inside this pocket here, they, they don't even have that facility in there. It's just, it's just the normal material that's on the inside. So that's it, man. I I think that's most of the stuff on the jacket. Man, that's it for the fake versus real Canada Goose um, jacket, guys. I hope you found that informative. I hope you found that useful. I'm definitely going to be doing some more fake versus real stuff, okay? So stay tuned for all that stuff, guys. Stay tuned. I'm going to catch you lot in a bit. More videos coming, y'all. All right, man. Peace out in a bit. <laughs>